What's up guys and welcome back to another video and yes this is a little bit late since Black Friday was uh, a couple days ago uh, since today's Sunday. Um, I wanted to, I've been busy working so I haven't been able to get time to do this video but I'm doing it now. I was recently going to be going to uh, Walmart to get the 10 inch version of Deadpool but when I went there they did not have them so instead I went to GameStop and decided to get these bad or one of these bad boys because I was I didn't know if I want to spend $60 on three boxes plus there's a possibility that this could be a chase I haven't opened it yet but I'm hoping that there is one because I have never gotten a chase one in a box unless I buy them um, I did purchase that one as well uh, the white tiger ranger or white ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers I'll link that video down below but we are going to be looking at the Funko Pops that I got on Black Friday and just in general that I've been collecting over the past couple days in this Black Friday um, kind of weekend um, and then I did purchase this one I'm hoping to buy a couple more depending on if this one is good or not if it isn't good I, I kind of I might stay away but I do want to get the whole uh, the whole the, the three of them it does it does come with three different types it, it comes with a Groot a um, Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales and then a uh, Deadpool, but they're all playing video games. So I think that's kind of cool with GameStop and their exclusives But guys, we're gonna take a look at these guys or these pops here Specifically this one that I bought from GameStop. So guys grab a chair pull up some popcorn as we take a look at the Black Friday special of the Marvel GameStop collection and the other pops in this video right now So guys, going right into it, this is the box that you get. Let the camera zoom in better. So I've never actually gotten these boxes before ever. Um, I know they had some last year and so forth like that, like the Batman ones I think it was. Um, I'm looking at the ones that you can possibly get and I'm gonna throw those up on screen right now. These are the ones that you can get in box right now. These are not chase related. So if you get one of these, this is the chase ones or non chase ones. Um, you get the pins regardless. You get the keychains, but apparently you can get them in different colors. Like Deadpool could be his black version or his blue version or so forth like that. Um, and then apparently the chase versions, I'm looking at them right now, right on the side here. Looks like Miles Morales and Deadpool are in their chase forms are not having a mask on. Um, they are still standing. But then I look at Groot. Groot is standing, um, but he's just got a controller in his hand so he doesn't have the drink or the and so forth like that in his hand um pictured here um but the 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 pins are regardless you're going to get those no matter what so i'm hoping i get a chase i've never gotten a chase before in my life um so or i've got i think i got two chases yes i got two chases but i had to buy those um separately so i had to pay a little bit more um so i'm hoping this is the chase uh, so without further ado, also the contents in here are a Pez dispenser, a Funko Pop. I'm trying to remember what it said. A punk, a Pez dispenser, a Funko Pop, a keychain, and a pin. That is all that's in this box for $19.99 $19 at GameStop exclusively. So you can't get these anywhere else. It has to be GameStop. Um, I've seen a lot of people purchasing 12 to 9 to... Eight. I don't know why you need to buy so much unless you got the three originally. If you didn't, then you can obviously sell them online. But right now, I'm going to stick with the one. Um, I do. I'm going to go to GameStop this Friday when I do get paid to get the other two. Hopefully, I don't get doubles. But we're going to take a look at what this is right now. Um, so we're going to pull this image down right now. Boop. Okay. So um, I'm really hoping that this is going to be a pop. Get some good vibes here. Mm, okay. Ooh, okay. Ah, it's a chase. <laughs> okay, so, so we got a chase. It is Groot standing up. Um, so this is this is what he looks like. Loving it. I would have rather had Deadpool or uh, Miles Morales. Groot. I'm not saying I don't like Groot, but Groot would have been my third choice. But it is a, a chase, so I'm definitely happy about that. So I'm super excited. This is my first chase that I've actually got in a box itself. So I'm super excited about that. So I gotta put that bad boy, bad boy up there. I'm gonna have 
hopefully see how much he's worth right now on eBay. Um, we have the pin, kind of a cool pin there. We have, oh, we have a sticker. I didn't know that it comes with a sticker. It comes with a sticker. I might have to put that one up there or something maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out. We got the keychain. This is the normal version of Groot, what he would have looked like if I got the normal one, which is just Groot sitting down. I will not be taking these out. I um, I don't put the keychains on my keychain. I actually have them up here. I have five of them. I have two Iron Mans, an Iron Hulkbuster, or a Hulkbuster, and then I have Captain America, and then a Deadpool normally, but then I have this guy. Um, I have other Pez dispensers. I'm kind of kind of curious why I got a Deadpool Pez dispenser when it was a Groot box, but I'm not complaining. But I don't eat the Pez dispensers. I keep them in box because who knows if they're going to be worth anything someday. So um, so definitely really excited about that pop. I'm super excited that I got a Chase. Um, so hopefully maybe the other two that I go and purchase later on will be Chases. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to check on eBay how much this one is. And it is 40 bucks. So 40 bucks right now is what this one is showing. About 35 to 40 dollars is the actual pop itself. It's worth net worth. I'm not looking on uh, Funko Pop pricing guide because um, the the ones that are um, that I showed you right there they're not on there quite yet. Um, I was looking up the regular ones. I didn't look up the Chase ones. Um, so if the regular ones under there, I can't see that the chase ones are going to be on there, but super excited. Definitely awesome. Um, so moving on, these ones are from the LA Comic Con. I know this is a bit late because LA Comic Con was quite a while ago, but I did just pick these up not too long ago. Um, but you have the Corrupted Ver Venom and then you have uh, Ghost Rider or Comic Ghost Rider. I like that little baby Thanos is in there, um, but I love the way that this one looks just because they got that kind of weird looking clear ghost look on him and then there's baby Groot or baby uh thanos um definitely like this one had to pick this one up and then of course venom is my main villain um camera's glitching out there but this is the one i wanted to get because i have all my venoms right here and up there as well so i definitely had to add to the collection because yeah so speaking of Ghost Rider is $20 right now. I bought him for $12.50 at Hot Topic. These were a Hot Topic exclusive, so um, that's where you guys could buy these. Um, you probably can buy them anywhere now on any like Amazon or eBay, but it's definitely probably going to be a little bit more because they are valuable pops now. Um, I didn't put that pin in there. Okay. Um, and then we're going to look at Corrupted Venom. Corrupted Venom is... I bought him for the same cost. And he is... Bum -ba -da -bum is Where is he? He's $18. So not quite high up there. Um, but still, overall, he definitely looks really cool and pinkish. Um, but I love that pop. So definitely going to add to the collection. Obviously, the collection's still growing. It's pretty sad because I got pops on the floor over there. And then my fiance's dog is dead over there. But anyways, <laughs> if I can fix the camera here, there we go. Okay. So those ones are going to be put in the back. I did purchase this one about three months ago. Uh, I think it was three months ago, if not two months ago. Agent Venom. I want to get the white one. I would so like the white one because it is the chase version of this one. But it is going for $89 right now. And this one's only like, I think it's like, $25 but let me check it right now but I know the chase one off the bat it is um, white I would love to have that one but it's super expensive um, this one is $14 um, I'm guessing and the agent venom white one just went up to $90 oh man wish I wish what I wished if I could have that one but as a fungal pop collector um, I will get this one eventually someday, but this one was $14. I purchased this one for about, I think it was $16. So I lost a couple dollars, but overall I love that it's Venom or Agent Venom um, in the Venom series. So I definitely love Venom. So good to add that to the collection. Um, and then we got the two other new pops that have come into the Avengers Endgame universe. There are uh, a couple other ones that I have not received yet because I'm having a hard time finding them in store, so I don't have to buy them online yet. Um, but I don't have the Captain America with Mjolnir and the sword, 
or Mjolnir and the shield with him having the power of um, Thor. But I will definitely get that one. Don't worry about that one. I got Iron Spider-Man in kill, instant kill mode. Uh, and Hulk um, holding his tacos. So eventually I will get those ones. But um, these ones were the only ones I could find in GameStop. But it's Thanos in the garden. Obviously right when they come to uh, the garden place where he's residing at after he snapped all half of life on earth or in the universe away this is how thanos looked because he destroyed the stones um because they served their purpose but that's what he looks like right now i definitely like him very heavy pop i think it's mostly because of his head but overall definitely love the detail and it just it it captures that moment in the movie and i definitely like that and definitely avengers endgame is the highest grossing movie so hello i love it Definitely wanted to add this to the collection. Now, speaking of the Avengers Endgame, I thought that Captain Marvel and a lot of her other um, outfits, I have all, almost all my Captain Marvel mo or Captain Marvels down here. But this one, for some reason, I like this one a lot better. Her suit is a lot better. I like that the hair is cut short, obviously, in the movie. She's wielding the power in her hands. But for some reason, I like this Captain Marvel a lot better than the ones that she had in her first, or her Captain Marvel film. I like this one a lot better. But this one right now, it, actually, I didn't do that one for that one. This one right now, it's worth is, yeah, it's five seventy six. And what I'm looking at, guys, is PPG. It's Prop Pricing Guide. You sign up, you put all your pops in here. It tells you the value, if they go up, if they go down, and pretty much like that. So it definitely helps to know their value a little bit better rather than having to go on eBay when eBay definitely some of the people that sell them go a little higher than they should. But um, that's what I'm looking at is prop pricing guy or pop price guide dot com. So and this is not being sponsored or anything. Just I just wanted you guys to know because it's a nice tool to help help with you guys and your value. This one is not showing a value yet. So um, this will be coming up here soon with a value. But I bought this one for. Um, I think it was nine dollars, and then I got um, this one for free because I had a ten dollar coupon. Um, so I definitely was happy about that. But this one is probably won't have a value, but we're gonna take a look at it anyways. It is no value yet. So definitely would like to see what these guys' value is gonna be. A lot of them, a lot of my Avenger Endgame pops are super, um, I wouldn't say high up there, but they're definitely a lot higher than some pops. So def because the movie it did go up uh, or was the number one movie. So and then we have two of these pops um, right here. One is a um, these are the Marvel 80 years versions. Um, one I got from Walgreens and the other one I got on Amazon. Um, this one was kind of funky. And when I saw it there, I was like, Damien, this one. Um, I didn't think that they were going <laughs> to. Uh, I thought this was kind of a joke. I thought this was actually fan made, um, but it's Octo Spidey. Um, I don't think he's up in here yet, um, but I thought these were fan made. To be at, to be honest, right away I thought it was like I thought this was a joke. So this one is eleven dollars. I did pay for nine dollars for this one, but it is real. So I'm I mean I you there could be uh, there could be uh, fakes out there. It also has a Spider Man with a bomb blastic or bastic bag man. So it looks like a Fantastic Four Spider Man. And it has Spider-Man Future Foundation. So I definitely want to get that one too. Um, but this is part of the Marvel 80 Years versions. I definitely love that one. It looks like he's got some, like an Octavius looking Doc Ock look to him. I love that. And then we got um, Iron Man Model 39. So I'm guessing this is the Gemini suit from obviously the Iron Man 3, which is the space suit. Um, it is Mark 39, but they call it Model 39. Um, I'm kind of sad that they didn't have any more. It would have been kind of cool that they would have had some more suits, kind of like Spider-Man has down here. Um, I would have loved to see like Igor or like um, Silver Centron um, or a Snapper suit, I mean, kind of thing. Um, obviously, probably in the comic book version because this doesn't look like the ones that we have now or like the newer age Iron Man. This looks like almost comic book version because obviously this is Marvel 80 years, so... The one that we got from, uh, that was Thanos and Loki that was in that box was comic book version. So obviously this is going to be comic book version, but I definitely thought this one was really cool. Again, I thought this one was a fake. I thought it was made from, somebody made it or whatever, but it is 
valid and it is real that Funko did make this one. It is not on the website at currently at the moment. I'll check one more time. I did check this yesterday morning when I did receive the pop, but I didn't see it on there. Um, and we're looking and we're looking and it's not on there, but I did purchase this one for, I think it was $13 on Amazon. I'll link the thing down below so you guys can get this one and the, a couple of these on here. Um, you can't get all these online. Oh, I bet you can, but I want you guys to get the, the best deal you guys can get. Um, so I will link those down below for you guys and also where to get, to, or you can, you guys can go to GameStop to get this one. You can't get this one. I think you can buy it online and come and come to your house, but you just go, it's the fun that you get to go to the store. So with that being said, guys, this is the pop Black Friday right here. These are kind of like my Black Friday shoppings that I did outside of GameStop. I was kind of bummed out that I did not get the 10 inch version of um, Deadpool. Eventually I will get one. Um, I just have to go online and purchase it, but I was kind of bummed out. I couldn't get it in store because they didn't show up. So Walmart, I'm a little bit of shame of you. How could you? I went there for that reason, but instead I did get this um, helmet and then I did get this box. So I did it definitely outweighed the, the negative. So. Guys, let me know down below if you guys were excited that I did get a chase. Let me know if you guys were excited to see any of these new pops. Let me know down below if you guys like these Funko videos or any of my videos in general. It takes a couple seconds of your time to like and comment and share the video. So with that being said, make sure you guys are liking and commenting and sharing these videos because it super helps me out if I'm making good content, if I'm just wasting my time and wasting your precious time. I want to make sure that I'm making good content for you guys. So let me know down below. Let me know if you guys like the Funko videos that I do. What's your favorite Funko? I mean, just let's talk. Let's talk Funko um, on this video and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and I would surely appreciate that. And with that being said, there are a lot of you that are watching my videos that have not subscribed yet. So what are you guys waiting for? Subscribe to the YouTube channel by smashing that red bar icon and then hit the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss a video because I pretty much post daily, if not every other day. If it's not Funko, it's Fortnite. If it's not Fortnite, it's Try Not To Laugh Challenges. If it's not Try, laugh, try Not To Laugh Challenges, it is reviews on certain products, mostly nerd and geek stuff. If it's not that, it's uh, Fortnite montages. It's gonna be soon here, Call of Duty montages. Um, trailer reactions, so there's gonna be so much on this channel, so why not subscribe and for free, by the way, make sure you guys subscribe for free and then we can grow together and getting to my goal of a thousand subscribers by January 1st, 2020. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real, keep it safe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!